A Brakthayahawa, Brakthayahawa Sai, Brakthayahawa, Brakthayahawa Sai, Brakthayahawa, Brakthayahawa Sai. Double honesty, the apostles of Great Millstone. Honest, you brothers that be pushing the truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And uh, all praises unto Yahweh Bashimi Ashai. Really, I should say all praises unto Yahweh Bashimi Ashai first. Okay, because that's the most important thing. So I wanted to do this quick video right here entitled um, How the European Union Began Divided Over Russia. Uh, because the rhetoric coming from the, um, the the chess piece, the major chess piece, that being America, um, is um, is very aggressive. Okay, I'm not, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not perfect when it comes to the geopolitics, but pretty much what you can see is really an American aggression. Okay, focused on um, basically taking down the Russian uh, uh, agenda, if you will, okay? Now, what's important to remember, these are two houses of Esau, okay? These are both Edomites. And when you check out the history and you check out how the Romans existed, okay? And you check out how uh, uh, the generals and the subsequent descendants of um, um, of the generals of, of Alexander the so-called great, who later uh, came to rule the known world, you find that there was always infighting, okay? Uh, fighting for territory and uh, fighting for uh, um, fighting for dominance. Okay, that is to say, Edomite on Edomite, Edomite on Edomite crime. Okay, but on a large scale of wars, when you got tens of thousands of people, millions of people getting killed now. Okay, as a result, as a direct result between the conflict for territory and absolute rule between the different factions. Okay, of Esau's uh, family. Okay, so uh, 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 what you have now is nothing new, and I've done a video. Uh, about that okay going into the history and then how i uh, coupled that with what was happening right now and how it's basically the same thing that you had back in uh, at the times of the greeks and the romans how there was a lot of infight okay now you're seeing uh, uh, um, a direction okay towards what the scripture says okay and that the scripture is going to be fulfilled that all of these different countries are going like, to turn around and hate the whole man. okay when you read the scriptures like the book of obadiah okay uh, the book of obadiah uh, the first chapter and the seventh verse, it says, All that meant that confederacy have, uh, uh, have brought thee even to the border, them that were at peace with thee have deceived thee, okay, uh, uh, and prevailed against thee, and them that eat thy bread have laid, laid a wound underneath thee. Okay, so pretty much, really, this is talking about the whole nation of Edom, okay, but principally America, because when you see the treaties that are out there within the world, whether even within the own facets and factors of Esau's um, uh, household, Okay, you pretty much see a, um, a divided opinion and, and it's a, a more negative towards America because everybody's coming to the realization that America is not good for, the, for, 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 for anybody's health, man. Okay, America is not good for anybody. Its existence, okay, is against life and nature. And when you read the scriptures like the book of Jeremiah, okay, the 51st chapter, you, you get to find out the nations have gone mad, okay, uh, 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 this uh, capitalistic, okay, uh, uh, um, life uh, uh, endangering, okay, uh, a cycle that we've been um, pushed into as a result of having America as the spearhead and the standard by which people live, okay, Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, and the first verse says, for, uh, um, uh, and the seventh verse says, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, and that has made all the earth drunken, okay, and the nations have drunken off of wine because the nations are mad. So you're seeing it to where uh, 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 these nations are, uh, are going crazy, man. Okay, you compare their uh, uh, their social construct in comparison to to hundreds of years ago. They were more uh, they were more in tune with life back in the day than they are now. Okay, you know people are, people are actually about death right now. That's because you got it to where the enemy of the world is in rulership right now. The enemy of uh, of life is in rulership right now, and the Mosai is seeing it, and the Mosai has laid a wound underneath it. Even to the end that the whole house of Esau is even divided, okay? One side is going uh, with Russia, as you're going to see here, and you've got it to where another side is, is wanting to go with, with the right of America. Now, on the surface level, that's what it looks like, but we know on a deeper level, this is what has been set up by the banking elites that pay off both sides of the house of Esau to fight up against each other. And out of the ashes of, of, of the existing world, they want to rise up and rule a, 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 a Germanist, a hegemony, if you will, okay, a conglomerate of, of, of the world 
and rule it with absolute authority. Okay, but you're gonna find out this whole infight in between how uh, the, the house of Esau and who's gonna rise up out of it. You're gonna find out it's gonna be the Israelites that's gonna rise up out of it. Okay, you go to where all of these nations are warring against each other, where nobody's considering the the uh, apple of the Most High's eye, that being the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, this is the apple of the Most High's eye, and you're gonna see they're gonna have the upper hand, and it's gonna come about by the most unexpected of ways okay because we ain't got no army okay we ain't got no uh, 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 seat at the un but we're going to be the ones that win out of the so-called thing of the un and you, you got it to where the elite banking families are working towards a new world order we're really the more size working towards a new world order okay where he's going to dwell righteousness okay this new world order these elites are paying america to come up against russia and therefore nato being divided over which uh, you know, the different countries in NATO being divided over what country they're going to support. That's all a, 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 a figment of people's imagination. OK, so that they can set up their so-called new world order. But the fact of the matter is the more size playing them even more. See, here it is. Esau's playing checkers, thinking he's smart. OK, he pulled out a, a trump card in checkers, but the more size playing chess. OK, so the more size playing, the, the, he's the master chess player and he's got it to where uh, uh, the, 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 you know, the, 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 um, the, um, the most insignificant uh, 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 piece on the chessboard, if you will, of which we ain't in, in, insignificant, okay, but as far as these nations are concerned, we're insignificant to them, okay, we're the pawn on the chessboard, if you will, and we're the ones that's going to com just, just completely wipe up, you know, completely dominate that chessboard, man, okay, the more side's going to hit you with that checkmate, okay, I don't know how chess works, but the more side's going to hit you with, with that checkmate, okay, which is going to be the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, now I want to get the, uh, um, uh, one more preset, okay, uh, um, before I move into this. Uh, uh, um, so let me put clay in there, and then I want to go into the book of Daniel. And this is, um, this is dealing with how Esau had his um, rulership right now. So within the book of Daniel, okay, the, what is it, maybe the second chapter, okay. Yeah, here we go. So Daniel, the second chapter. And this is, I really, I want to start from, yeah, no, I want to start, I want to start from about the 32nd verse, okay, it says, this image head, which was on fine gold, Babylon, okay, the original Babylon, his breastplate and arms of silver, which was the media Persians, okay, and his thighs and his, it was brass, was that the media Persians were taken up by the Greek, Greeks, which later became the Romans, okay, and, the, uh, and thou saw it still, because um, this, this whole image that you're reading here is allegoric, um, or metaphorical, if you will, Okay, of symbolic, if you will, okay, of um, the different empires that have ruled, okay, decreasing in splendor, but increasing in strength to the point where we're in right now, where you've got the most amount of strength, but the whole kingdom is all, you know, it's some bits of good, but most of it is like a 7-Eleven bathroom, <laughs> okay, to quote uh, um, the elders from Dallas, <laughs> okay, and it says, and that's always till the stone was, was cut out without hands, okay, this is, this is the great millstone, <laughs> Okay, which when you read these scriptures, man, and if you ain't, if, the, if these scriptures, the whole completion of the understanding of these scriptures doesn't make you smile, the whole full circle of how, how this thing is brought out doesn't make you smile, then maybe you should have, um, maybe you should, you should leave this, man, okay, because this is good news, you should, you should be seeing how this picture has been intricately painted and that should make you smile, that should make you happy, man, okay, how <laughs> this... Out uh, of more side, had this cold great millstone, and he's going to take that millstone and he's going to cast it against these different empires. And metaphorically speaking, that is to say, the, the, the word being brought out here was going to be the main thing. Okay, us prophesying even unto the wind was going to be an energy that was going to bring this kingdom down to the end that we was going to be raised up by Yah by Shimei outside to actually physically take this kingdom down. Okay, and he says, and then the iron and the clay and the brass and the silver broke into pieces and became as the chaff of the uh, summer threshing floor and the wind carried them away that's the icbm you can missiles man and it says places was found uh and, and, and no place was found for them and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain what's another uh, uh what's a synonym for uh, for a mountain okay the synonym for mountain is what a government hence a summit okay check it out okay it says and became a great mountain and filled the whole earth isaiah the 68th chapter and this is the dream and we will tell you the interpretation thereof, okay? So you see that how the Esau is going to be really destroyed, but that, like I said, that factor that he's not even playing in, how the, the moral side, not us, but rather Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to empower us. Therefore, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to get the credit. Okay, now I read this, 
okay, to read this scripture right here, okay, dealing with the last kingdom, okay, so his legs was of iron and his feet was part iron and part clay. So you got bits in it which are strong, America and Russia, and bits of it, of it that was, uh, was weak, Italy, Spain and these different places, which were great empires in the fourth time, but now they become weak. So it was going to be divided. And the scripture says that if Satan's house be divided up against himself, how was he going to stand? Okay, so it says last week, Prime Minister of Hungary and Bulgaria criticized the EU, EU's uh, um, EU policy towards Russia for being too harsh. Again, one of those weaker countries. So they don't see the benefit of, of, of a, they might see the benefit, but they don't really see the, um, the entirety of having, a, 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 you know, 10 aircraft carriers. Okay, which is a, a symbolic of the iron. Okay, they just feel the clay, man. They're poor and they're like, well, hold on a minute. This is, you know, our fellow Edomite brothers. That's what they're thinking about them Russians. And they're feeling some type of way about that. Okay. It says, uh, the European Union imposed sanctions against Russia in response to Moscow's intervention in Ukraine, but Hungary and Bulgaria. This was posted, by the way, on the 1st of the 30th, uh, 31st of 2018. Okay. And it says, uh, but Bulgaria is concerned that EU's continued anti-Russia stance could pose a security threat and does not benefit either country. And ultimately, all right, it's going to lead to a war. Now, I'm not, like I said, I'm not too, too great when it comes to uh, geopolitics. I do my best. So I'm not going to go too, too much into this. You know, we hit the scriptures. We have brought out, you know, pretty much the point. So I'm just going to speak on these bits and pieces uh, for a little while. But I'm not going to, you can read this article for yourself. If you, you want to, if you want to, uh, uh, um, if you want to do a video on it, be my guest. Okay. So pretty much what you're seeing there is, um, you know, places like Bulgaria and Hungary, they're seeing uh, the direction in which um, the world is going towards and it's really going to lead to a world war. Now, you might have it to where, you know, you feel some type of way about that and you want it to, to not exist. But the fact that the matter is, war was already prophesied within, within the scriptures here, within the book of Jeremiah, the, 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 um, the, um, the 51st chapter, okay? Uh, uh, flee ye out of the midst, this is the 6th verse, Jeremiah 51 and 6, this is flee ye out of Babylon, deliver every man his soul. Okay, and be not cut off in her iniquity. Okay, because like I said, this is the Lord's master chess moves. Okay, you go into the book of Revelations, the 13th chapter, on the 9th verse, uh, um, uh, who is it? Revelations 13, 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear you that leadeth into captivity, shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So, in the greed of Esau, in trying to expound, and we're talking about the, the, the American Edomites, okay, in their greed, They've tried to, uh, 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 really the elite banking families even, okay, they've tried to have a war play out between both houses, their own houses, okay? And then and through that, to, through the chaos of all of that, they was going to have what? They was going to have a new world order being established upon the earth, okay? But through all of that, really the most I was going to judge him for the first uh, wickedness that he did, okay? Which was to hate his brother and ultimately kill his brother in all of the different iterations on which this Greco-Roman empire has existed, and as a result, you got it to wear what? The scripture says that the Moral side is going to uh, 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 cut off Babylon uh, for her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance and he, he will render unto her a recompense. Okay, God, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand and has made all the earth drank and, and all the nations drank in, and therefore the nations are mad. They're going crazy, man. Okay, now as a spiritual man, okay, you should be able to look at this scripture and apply it to the times that we're dealing with right now and you'll see that the shoe fits. Okay, because you got some assholes out here that's, that'll just, you know, oh, that's talking about the history. But when you check out these prophecies, some of these prophecies, and you know, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hands and flee out of Babylon, etc., etc. We really read into these things and apply it to uh, uh, biblical prophecies, uh, you know, within the book of Revelations where you're talking about Babylon again, but this was after the media Persians had, had taken down the ancient Babylon and, uh, and subsequently the, the Greeks had taken down uh, uh, the, the media Persians. And now you had it where the Romans uh, uh, were, were, you know, were ruling uh, 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 the entirety of the world, including Jerusalem, by way of, um, um, by way of the, um, um, was this guy Pompey and uh, Julius Caesar, and then hence um, uh, the Herodian line. Okay, you had it to where um, all of these, you had it to where they, they, they were um, ruling the world, and even within the time of the Romans, you got it to where John the Revelator is talking about Babylon. You got to come to the conclusion that some of these precepts that you're reading here really are applicable to uh, uh, to the times that we live in right now within the modern iteration of Babylon. Okay, so hopefully that was a verification. Hopefully my thoughts uh, 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 and my sayings and my words uh, 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 you know were um, in alignment with each other. That is to say that it made sense. 
Okay, again, you could do a video on the article for yourself if you wish. So with that, I'm going to say, oh, praise on the Abba al Shai. Double honesty, the apostles of great millstone. Oh, she Bible that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.